Loyal Kana, welcome. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm happy. What's it like to be here, second time round? <coughs> yeah, second time round. Like I was just saying, I feel like I'm able to maybe enjoy it a bit more. So yeah, I feel like I'm yeah I'm here, happily like part of it. Does it feel like this is your year? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, every year feels like my year. Like not for awards, but just it has to. You have to feel like that, otherwise you're going to get stuck, right? Um, but yeah, no. I just to me like being here is is more than enough. I'm going to tell you a little secret now. You are the bookie's favourite. So someone else said this to me, but I didn't know about this till someone else said it. Yo, whatever, man. <laughs> Does that play any difference? Does that put the nerves in? Does it just make you more excited? No, do you mean like I've, I've, you know, I've put money on Liverpool to win games many times when they've been the favourite and they've lost, and I've lost a lot of money like that. So it means nothing to me. Okay, so looking back at last time you were here with Yesterday's Gone, how would you say that you've changed then? How would you say the album is different now and reflects you in a different stage of your life? Um, I don't know, man. I, I guess like you know, every time you're making an album, you're making it in response to the one that you've just made before, right? And I think that's been true of what I've made up until this point. Um, I can't really tell how different I am. You'd have to ask like my girlfriend or my mum. Or, but I don't know. I feel like I say I feel like I'm able to, you know, take myself less seriously a bit when it comes to stuff like this, which means I'm able to enjoy stuff. I'm also a father now. I get less sleep. That's how I'm different. I'm knackered all the time. That's the real difference. I feel like there is so much love for you here tonight. Everyone who I've spoken to has been singing the praises for your album. What's it feel like to have your album resonate with so many people? That was gonna make me cry. I don't know why it hit me that. Um, yeah, deep, man. Because like you know, I always felt like when I came in before, I always felt like an outsider looking in. You know what I mean? And to be what I loved about being here last time was like feeling part of the conversation. That's all I ever wanted was just to be in and amongst like something. You know? Um, yeah, that's deep for me because I'm, you know, these are people I really respect. Ezra Collective, those are my guys. Olivia Dean, I love so much. Young fathers, I never really chatted to, but I'm a big fan. You know, like to be around these people, shy girl, like it's sick for me. We have to talk about Reading and Leeds. Yeah. I feel like you stole the show there. You were enemies, like highlights. What was it like for you to play to that crowd? Yeah, moved. Do you know what was crazy is that, like, you know, Reading and Leeds is a, is a young crowd, right? And sometimes, you know, I've been doing this for ten years, man. And doesn't mean I'm not old, but like. <laughs> You know, I don't know, it was so nice to see like a next generation of kids still be rocking with my shit and, 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 and yeah, I don't know, I felt so moved to see kids like when I first played the show, it was like the same crowd, but just like they haven't aged. It was amazing. What was it like for you to spread that message of combating toxic masculinity? I feel like that really resonated with so many people and I feel like so many people look up to you as like a new generation of yeah. rap. Yeah. What's it like to have that impact on people, especially when you see it? with the crowd looking back at you? It's magic, man. You know, I feel like the conversations I have after the show, those are the bits that mean the most, you know, when kids go, thank you, or, or I got a beautiful message from my mum, just a random mum on Instagram saying that, you know, her son, whatever, went through some stuff. I don't need to disclose it, but it was the first time he was able to say to her, yo, that, that shit that went, I went through, it hurt me, you know? And, and I think, you know, giving kids a space to, to talk like that, especially young men, because it's not allowed, you know, when I grew up, is important. It was funny, man, like that, that video got posted on some bullshit Instagram called the Archbishop of Banterbury, fuck you guys. And, and the comments on it were like so toxic, saying all this shit about me and how I should just shut my mouth. And it was, it was so nice because it made me realise how important it is to say that shit because those kids are just as lost as, you know, I was. Did you have your son in mind when you were writing this album? Yeah, hell yeah. Like, uh, when, I made, when I made most of it, I didn't know if it was a boy or a girl or, you know, I just was hoping they would be healthy. So I just had like embryo in my mind, you know. But yeah, I did. I had a, I had a hope of, you know, doing all the things. Yeah, yeah, put, put in. Yeah, I did have him in my mind, yeah. Okay, last question. Going forward, if you were to win tonight, how would we celebrate? What would celebration look like for you? How would I celebrate? With my son. I don't know how that's possible because he'll be asleep, but I'll just go wake him up, wake him up, take him to the park maybe, watch the sun, the sunrise, I don't know. I feel like that's a good excuse to wake him up. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? He won't care, he won't understand. All he cares about is that I wore his, his necklace. That was, like, that was the only important thing. Did he make that for you? Oh yeah, yo, he designed the jeans as well. Look, look at the back. Get a little pack. Yo, get, get a little action on that. Yeah, man, designed by my son. Well, designed by my friend Bentley, actually. But my son, I was like, draw the sun for me. And that's what he drew, so that's what he put on the jeans. Hey, I'm glad we managed to get you to, like, moon for us for the yeah, end of this interview. I mean, this is my, it's my best asset, so I'll get it out sometimes. Thank you so much. Congratulations again. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs>